We do not have a Steve this morning. We do not have a T-Rex. How about some of my other friends, aloe and geraniums? You know where we are. Look at this one reaching out there for the sun in the winter sky. Let's go out the door and see what we have. Plenty of weather and more. This is classic. Day after it snows here on Cape Cod to wake up and have blue sky off to the south and west and then a cloud right over our head. And then if you wanna to go to the backyard, this happens a lot when these cold events occur, the ocean effect snow clouds there to the north and northeast. And it is snowing on Cape Cod for the second day in a row. Uh, there's the beachcomber cam. So some ocean effect snow on outer Cape Cod may try and expand in our direction. We got an inch of snow last night or yesterday afternoon really. And that, that highfalutin guidance I showed yesterday with the, the snow generating over Boston and coming down Route 3 and then kind of pounding the canal, well, really did not happen. The Cape picked up one to two inches of snow, which I guess was good for the 12-hour forecast yesterday, even though the uh, 24 to 48-hour hour forecast, we thought there'd be some four-inch amounts, and we thought there'd be more towards uh, your house in Shrewsbury, Steve. Steve says he saw about two snowflakes. Uh, come down to Bass River, Steve. We have the snow for you. The sun is out this morning and clouds are mixed. Really fun. You can see the tracks of the animals. Some kind of animal get up uh, onto the, the picnic table bench here. That's too big to be a squirrel. It's got to be a bunny rabbit. Do bunny rabbits hop up on benches? Where did this storm go anyway? Well, you want to see where it is now? <laughs> Another developing hurricane force storm historic parade of storms this one's now south of newfoundland and it's racing away our block is breaking down how much snow one to two here on cape cod how about 20 inches of snow in west virginia and close to 18 inches of snow in maryland so mid-atlantic states got probably their biggest snowstorm in a couple of years I went over to Jeff's yesterday. He keeps track of our snow here in South Dennis and rain and everything. And I said, Jeff, when is the last time we had an inch of snow and there was no rain involved on the front side or the back side? And we were stumped. We can't even remember the last time. So anyhow, no huge deal, but it's really pretty. Uh, this morning was, again, the coldest morning so far this season. Boston got down to 14. It's the third time we've done that in... Four days coldest so far this season. And a respectable amount of ice there uh, between Boston and Cambridge, where you can see the reflection of the emissions of the power plant generating steam there in Cambridge reflecting on the ice. That's really pretty, isn't it? The Boston webcam. Don't forget to go to the Boston webcam. <laughs> also get the Bass River webcam. Uh, they're all part of our system here. There's my Bass River webcam, which is back up. Thank you, Mike. So we have two different kinds of clouds. You get those ocean effect clouds right there, and then you get the higher clouds. These are actually generating all the way from where it is now snowing for the 16th day in a row in northern Vermont. Jay Peak has had three feet this week. Stow, the snow depth at the snow stake at Stow now is up to 55 inches. The average for this time of year is 43 inches. Snow depth we're talking, and there's a lot of water in that snow, even though it's been very fluffy this week. So this is kind of a backdoor, almost it was a backdoor warm front yesterday, but now it's blended. Now it's just kind of a trough. Let's go to another surface analysis. Uh, Charles Lincoln Stockdale wants to know, what about the black lines? What about the isobars? I'm like, Chuck, didn't we go over this? What is wind? Air moving from high to low pressure. And that's a very strong high pressure system out there in the middle of the nation. And then we have our developing hurricane force low off the map to the right. And all those black lines are isobars, lines of equal pressure. And the closer they are together, the tighter the pressure gradient. And the tighter the pressure gradient, the more likely you are to have wind, air moving from high to low pressure. Thank you. Oh, the orange dashed lines, he says. What about those? Well, those are surface troughs, often with an upper level reflection. Little energy or convergence centers. So you get those... The blue is snow there, and uh, you get these little orange lines. Those are convergence areas where maybe a north wind meets a northwest wind or a northwest wind meets a west wind. A little kink in the isobars, and it generates upward vertical motion, which generates clouds, which can generate snow. If it wasn't such dry air, I mean, 
Let's go to the Boston three to five day and look at the blue line and the red line. So barely 20 in Boston today, although I think this is underdone. And then another morning in the teens tomorrow morning. If, it, if we can go clear and calm wherever there's snow on the ground, tomorrow's going to be a coldest so far again this season. But the blue line in the temperature, the blue line is the dew point, and the temperature is the red line. They're separated until, look at that, Monday night into Tuesday. They come together, and that's when we're going to have our next weather event of any sort of widespread significance, probably about Tuesday. But uh, let's go back to that high-pressure system over the middle of the nation and what it did last night. Sub-zero, 10 to 20 below zero this morning in parts of Kansas and the Central Plains. And record cold again, January 20th. I think it's about the uh, sixth or probably about the eighth morning in a low with record cold. And if you look at the national advisories, uh, you see the, the gray color there. Those are wind chill advisories that are in effect all the way to the deep south. Now, that winter storm warning in West Virginia, that must be for the Monday night Tuesday thing. We can go to the, the Monday morning map here, kind of fast forward. This cold high is going to go off to our south. And when a high goes off to our south, we warm up. But remember, this is a record cold high, so it's going to have some challenges. Anyhow, that whole orange area there uh, and along the Mississippi River Valley, that's all freezing rain. So another freezing rainstorm is possible as this high is so cold. When the warmer air comes into the backside of it, uh, there's going to be a layer of cold beneath a layer of warmth, and that's going to generate freezing rain. And that's going to be a threat around here in New England going forward this week. All right, so just a quick look at the NAM, which did such a horrible job yesterday. I'm going to show the lower resolution NAM that goes out 84. I don't even think I'm going to show 84. Anyhow, some snow showers and snow flurries can kind of heading south. So don't be surprised if it's snowing as you go out to your Saturday evening date tonight because there's uh, that little orange line the kink in the isobar is coming through here generating some snows this evening and that's nothing but the black lines stay fairly tight so it's fairly breezy it's not too windy and uh so you know there's the lifts are going to the tops of the mountains uh where josh says uh, he hiked up this morning <laughs> it was five below zero good morning for hiking and he says the snow is just bottomless really he says it's the best snow even though it's very cold yeah. so that's today tonight and then now if we go to the lower 48 with the euro model We'll watch uh, the high goes offshore and then the precipitation starts coming at us. Tuesday, probably away from the shore. You're going to get a few hours of, of precipitation. Snow in the far north and freezing rain or probably just about nothing at the south coast Tuesday into Wednesday. And then the plot really thickens again for Thursday. Uh, we're going to be in warmer air, but there's another cold front coming down from Canada and it's going to try and undermine the warmth. So we may have a uh, wind from the north down near the ground and a wind from the south up in the sky. And that could mean freezing rain. We may have some more significant icing going on in central New England on Friday with the rain snow line going all the way up to the Canadian border. But who knows how warm it's going to get. And even in Boston where it's raining, it's only going to be in the upper 30s to 40s. So the temperature forecast for next week uh, certainly has come down. And then it looks like another shot of colder air coming in next weekend. And most of the nation's warming up at that point, but we'll be on the cold corner. So that's going to be pretty interesting. So uh, these Friday systems, boy, we've had, <laughs> had two or three storms a week. And we're going to have a real pain in the neck forecast coming going forward into next week with where those rain snow lines and ice lines are going to be. So just think overrunning and cold and our heating bill is going to continue to go up. Uh, we do not have ice on Fallen's Pond. I think because it was windy last night. If we go calm tonight, probably get some ice on Fallen's Pond. So everyone knows I grew up right in this house, right? So I've been watching it uh, snow here for my entire life. And it's great having this... Uh, this view looking across to Yarmouth, that's uh, Yarmouth looking south here across the pond. And when you can't see across the pond, you know it's snowing pretty good. And that almost happened for a short time. The only really good part of the forecast I got right yesterday was uh, saying uh, there'll be snow at Bass River at four o'clock. Uh, that worked out yesterday. So uh, here's my chase from yesterday. And what else? Mm, hope you're enjoying your weekend. Coldest weekend maybe of the season. We'll see. I mean, there's still a long way to go, but this is the midpoint of winter, and every day the sun's getting a little higher in the sky. Oh, yeah, and there was a request for mitt. Uh, we've left our tree up a little longer, both because we're busy and because mitt. Mitt just loves being under the tree, so we've had a request to see mitt. There's mitt. Happy, and uh, probably he'd be back with uh, the cats and the dogs. Uh, the cats and the dog tomorrow morning. So we'll see you again on Sunday. Happy Saturday. Here comes some and more and more and more. Straight up noon, crows. <laughs> Doesn't really look that much like a snow sky because it's so varied in texture, but it is snowing out there. Martin on Nantucket says, 
My goodness, pigs are flying. It's snowing on Nantucket. I still don't see that ocean effect being near my house anyway. So all those tankers that go by, uh, some of them go underneath this bridge, which goes up, and others go over up into the town river, which you can't really see, but I can see the stacks on the one that came through, I guess, yesterday. So some of them are anchored right over there in the town river, and then others go up into this uh, Quincy shipyard over here. I don't see any tankers there right now. And then there's the USS Salem, the old Quincy shipyard, now pretty much owned by General Dynamics and what's his name? I forgot. Not Nichols, that's the landscape people. Oh yeah, you can buy pot now on either side of the Four River Bridge. like a snow sky right here. It's supposed to be snowing. 133, Route 3, 33 degrees. I've heard there are some flakes around, but you want a solid steel gray sky without the uh, varying texture to, to know it's gonna snow. That looks a lot more like a snow sky there. See how it's all one color? Not quite all one color, but getting closer. Snowing just about as light as it possibly could snow as we through Kingston into Plymouth and still 33 degrees, but definitely a snowier sky, but you can still see the sun. That looks like the real deal a few miles forward. We'll see, because we're just about to the terrain where there's no snow on the ground. Well, still a little bit of snow on the ground. Exit formerly known as five, now lucky 13. Lucky with the steady snow because they just ran out on the ground. <laughs> Look really close. You can see some snowflakes. What do you think, Chief? Is this going to be a good one or not? <laughs> uh, I don't think it's going to be a good one, no. It's too warm. It's too warm now, but it's getting colder. And look off to the south. That is a steel gray sky. I see. Keep chasing. Never stop chasing. Isn't that what they say? Never stop chasing. All right. We're going to Chuck's shed. We'll see what's going on. All right, there's a fresh little dusting here in Plymouth with snowflakes. Just talked to Phil though, he says kind of sleety on the south side of town. So it's definitely a play-by-play -play kind of day. From a travel perspective though, I'm not upset that the roads are not snow covered. Get ahead of it, it'll be fine with me. But uh, you see a little snow starting to stick on the roads here. Exit seven, formerly known as exit three, I believe. Alright, game on. Radar shows a good dose of snow over toward Buzzards Bay. Let's see. We arrived, Bass River. It's 32, almost 31.9 outdoors and 47 indoors. We gotta lower one of those and raise the other. <laughs> outdoors down to about 30.9, indoors up to 51, and it's been snowing for about, I don't know. 10 minutes <laughs> and the ground's white. Gotta love what dad called Cape Cod Frost. No T-Rex going out the door solo. So growing up here, you tell how hard it was snowing by the visibility across the pond to Yarmouth. Once it came down, the, across the pond got blurry. You knew snow was starting to accumulate. And then once it started to almost disappear, that was a, a half an inch per hour. So we're at probably a about a quarter inch an hour if it were to keep going. Ground turned white just as soon as I got here though. Let's go see Chuck. I had a good burst there for a half hour. Ground turned white. Got some bonfires going on over there. Uh, no need to call out the plows just yet, but oh, Chuck's got the heat on. Yeah. Mm. Quarter inch. I think the worst is over. Watch out for the flying cohogs. Hi, Tim. What's up, Chet? Notice anything missing from my front yard? Uh, two trees. Oh, no. It's been very windy this season. Well, they just too big. Too big. Bye bye.
Nice solar heating now. Not too much solar cooling though. Is the heat on in the shed? Yes. Oh goodness. It's not nowhere near as cold as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, live at five. Must be getting dark out. And it is. So last light, South Dennis. Uh, well, we got lights on, but we've picked up about five eighths of an inch of snow uh, since it began at 3.30. So uh, it's picking up an in intensity. A little less than a half a 90 minutes. So it's about an eighth of an inch an hour, but it's been varying intensity. Oh, we've got super spotlights going now. What's up, Chuck? Is it going to snow hard all night long, you think? I don't know. Dad called it Cape Cod Frost. Cape Cod Bay really enhances the texture of the... <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, so it's a combination of Cape Cod Bay snow and synoptic scale snow. The birds, they call back. We're going for a ride. That's great. People playing out in the snow. Woo! Not watching their TV, not on their phone. Although I am on my phone. Hi. Hey. Hey. Nice. Cooper. Cooper just wants to play. Is that blinding? Nice one. Got some sledding going on here. Come here, Cooper. South Dennis. Nice, Cooper. It's the uh, second Hi, time it snowed in a week. <laughs> I think that's more times than it snowed all last winter. Yes. <laughs> Good one. What is, what is it? Good one. <laughs> this is what's the day. Sorry, I'm fancy. Right, now we're looking back at time here. 1931. Indoor heating, actually. Can't believe it. What's that label say up there? What kind of radiator is this? Look out. It is a propane fired cast iron steam radiator. Has a reservoir of water down low here and it turns it into steam and it vents out of this. Right into the room. That's your steam vent. And then these, these fins heat up but the water is only down here. In fact, so I with like the exhaust going in the room, how long before we suffocate? Uh, probably within a couple hours. All right, duly noted. We will open the door. And for the very best and more ever, <laughs> something tunneling under the snow recently. Can't tell which way they were going, but that's hilarious. Just about an inch new in South Dennis. We're now. At about 10.15, the moon is out, and I think we're done for tonight. But there are always surprises. <laughs> All right, and more and more and more.